All right, so I am finally in the uh, the van. It was sent by Asmed, and uh, I've not been in one of their vans before, but it's nice to see that it's not a disco van like some of the other clinics. I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. We got just nice leather. We got the driver up there. Oh, look, Dr. Trivellini. Hey. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Trivellini, the inventor of the Mamba, uh, one of the best FUE tools out there. Uh, he just happened to be, be on the same plane as me coming from Frankfurt, so we're sharing uh, the van back to Istanbul. And uh, for Mr. Rolandis in the chat of one of my previous YouTube shorts, you asked about the donor area on a Norwood 4. Does it make sense to take donor hair from all over if that patient is going to a Norwood 5, Norwood 6, Norwood 7? And I asked Dr. Ciavellini and uh, about the safe donor zone, and he said there is no safe donor zone. We talked about that, and, and I, I actually feel the same way. We're in a tunnel, by the way, as you can see. Um, it was dark, sorry. <laughs> you can't see us. Um, okay, just give us a, give us a second, guys. Uh, the unique time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like Batman. Uh, yeah, but uh, he was saying, and, and I agree with this, that the donor area isn't always actually safe. Uh, a lot of doctors say it is, and we used to think that. We used to think that the donor area was absolutely permanent, but we now know that it's not. Uh, you've had you've had cases where, or you've seen cases, patients where uh, their donor hair perfectly safe extractions or, or um, from strip or whatever, and it's placed and it doesn't grow very well on from from all kinds of different places yeah yeah, yeah i mean that's I've, I've seen that too it's not common pretty rare but it does happen so i hope that answers your question see ya